So in Adobe Research, we talk about inventing the future. This is a complicated endeavor. It involves understanding what is or will soon be technically possible to imagine how that might be used for some workflow or purpose that our customers care about. One of the coolest things that uh, as researchers we can do is develop technology that then can be used and is used by millions and millions of people. One thing that I find really exciting about Adobe Research is that it feels like researchers aren't really limited in terms of what they can implement, what they can build, um, where their creativity wants to take them. So we have a lot of freedom to do what we think is important and that makes us more uh, motivated. We are just one message away from starting collaborating in any topic that we find it could be interesting. So that's something that I, I value a lot personally. We might also see research helping people with much more uh, mundane things like quality of life improvements inside products where we're helping them do things a little faster. We actually encourage academic publication of our cutting edge research partly to attract and retain the best talent at Adobe, and also to test our ideas against the scrutiny of peer review um, at academic conferences. We're encouraged to participate in the broader academic community, and so we are recognized and rewarded for being you know, thought leaders. I think this constant interaction between the company and academia is, is really enriching and brings a lot of ideas for us. It brings a lot of uh, technologies. How could this actually help a user? Or how could this be turned into a feature in a product? I guess as a research engineer, that is a focus for me. One aspect of Adobe Research, which is foundational to how we work, is what I call the virtual team. And this includes our intern program, where we more than double in size, uh, usually in the summer, where we have an influx of very talented interns. And we don't treat them as people to do existing tasks, but more to come up with new ideas and take risks and explore new concepts. It's amazing for us as researchers because we get to work with such brilliant people who get to explore you know, amazing ideas. So Adobe Research has a very vibrant intern research program. It creates a huge talent pool and fresh ideas we can tap into. Yeah, so often an intern will return to their school and we'll collaborate even further, leveraging new ideas, helping us scale our connections and therefore also our creativity. So it's just exciting that we have such a program that working closely with interns um, and continue kind of drive innovation inside and outside Adobe. I think we are, uh, whatever we are doing, it has a lot of potentials for uh, impacts across multiple forums and that has been the real driving force of uh, what we have been doing. Adobe Research was founded to uh, give a space for us to explore cutting edge technologies that might go into future versions of Adobe products. And as it's grown, we've established a mission to look into the future, to see what's coming, to figure out what will be useful and then to try to understand how to sculpt that into useful tools for our customers. We are. We are. We are. Adobe Research. Adobe Research. Adobe Research. We are Adobe Research.